In this video, we will reprogram a display that was showing milliliters per minute and total milliliters to now show pounds per hour and total pounds. To make this change, we need to know the meter's k-factor. Let's say it's 1,000 pulses per cc, like in our last example. We need to know the density of our fluid. Let's say it's gasoline with a specific gravity of 0.72 at our operating temperature. A specific gravity of 0.72 is equal to a density of 6.01 pounds per gallon. And we also need to decide how many decimal places we will show on the display. For our Model 213 meter, we can easily show measurements to three decimal places to report flows to a thousandth of a pound. First, we will calculate the number of pulses equal to one one-thousandth of a pound of liquid. We have a k-factor of 1,000 pulses per cc. We multiply that by one cc per 0.72 grams followed by a multiplication of 453.59 grams per pound, and we come up with a k-factor of 629,900 pulses per one pound. To read in three decimal places, what we do is take the pulses per pound and divide by 1,000, and we come up with a k-factor of 629.9, and that's the k-factor we'll input into our display. The second method of conversion is to use the density of the fuel. In this case, we will use the same parameters with 1,000 pulses per cc multiplied by 3,785.4 cc's per gallon, and then multiply one gallon being 6.01 pounds, giving us the same k-factor of 629,900 pulses per pound. And for three decimal places, we come up with a k-factor of 629.9. Now let's set these new values into the indicator's program. Push both the right and left arrow key at the same time to enter the programming mode. From here we will jump to the locations we need to change. Rather than step through all the possible inputs to travel rapidly in the programming locations, you may use the keypad and type in the memory location. So let's start with the number 37. We're jumping to memory location 37. This is the header that's displayed on the right side of the indicator. You can see that the first digit is flashing, indicating it's ready for an input. We use the up arrow keys to change the numbers, or the letters. In this case, we're going to do pounds. Once we've set that, we move over. We'll use the P for per, and then we'll go all the way through the letters and numbers until we reach H. And that will set our display to show pounds per hour. Once that value has been set in memory, we'll jump to the other locations and input those values. If we hit the right and left arrow keys again, we can now travel to location number 35. This is the decimal point location. In the particular instance of the math, we were deciding that we were going to use three decimal places. So if we touch the number three, we're actually setting three places to the right of the decimal point. Once that is input, we will jump to the prompt, type in the number 25. This takes us to the other uh, display value, and again, we will set three decimal points in the display. Going back to the memory location again, we'll go to number 11. This is where the k-factor is set, and we discussed that in a previous video, where we had set the value to 1,000. However, that was pulses per cc. In the calculations we've done, the proper value for pulses per pound with three decimal places is actually 629.9. As you remember, the first step is to clear the current entry. Type in the value 629. The decimal point is on the left arrow key, and number 9. In this particular screen, you actually have to hit enter to set it into the memory. In the previous entries, we just had to go to that location, update the data, and then leave, and that set the new values. For k factor, you have to hit the enter. Now that the factor has been set for the pulses per pound in the right hand digit, we also need to set the per hour denominator in the unit of measure. To do that, we could jump to position 12, but since it's right next door to where we are, I'm going to use the right arrow key to move over one space to position 12. Here you see the rate multiplier, 60. This is telling me that we're dividing all of our frequencies by 60 to achieve a frequency in per second to be flow rate per minute. In our particular example, we want to do pounds per hour. So what we need to do is we need to tell the indicator that there are 3,600 3, pulses per hour. To do that, if we clear the current value, type in 3,600, and hit Enter. That sets that in memory. Now for all of our incoming frequencies, we will use the factor of 3600 to determine a rate per hour. Once that value has been set, use both the right and left arrow keys to return to the program prompt and the reset to go back into the run mode. You can see the effect of all of our changes. We are now displaying a total with three decimal places, 
a rate with three decimal places, and a unit of measure of pounds per hour.